Good morning, guys. So, in an effort to continue the real life aspect and the day to day struggles, I'm filming this little segment. So, this is what about seven or eight days no shower looks like. I have had, I think, two shower pouches just because I've gotten hot and sweaty a couple times. Otherwise, you know, I might go once a week or something like that. But it's definitely time for a power wash. We just finished up Hope yesterday. Beautiful little town. And then we took a drive up, I think it's Palmer Creek. So, uh, yeah. We're actually headed down to Whittier today. We'll be going through a three mile long tunnel. And then we'll be getting on a ferry. I'm not going to tell you where we're going yet, so stay tuned. So we are at the Whittier Tunnel. It's a three mile long tunnel. It's a toll, so it was 22 bucks for us. This is the only land route into Whittier and they release traffic every 30 minutes. So we're getting ready to roll through because it's a one way tunnel. Every 30 minutes, it switches directions. And there's a train, but apparently not a train this time. Kind of bummed, I was wanting to see a train come through the mountain there. But here we go. At the end of a three mile long tunnel, we found the unique community of Whittier, Alaska. We were starving for some lunch at this point, so with the weather report projecting rain, we decided to treat ourselves and fill our grumbling bellies inside the beautiful inn at Whittier. The codfish tacos were incredible. The steak nachos to die for. And the dinosaur nuggets, oh you know it, they were dynamite. Dad's pretty proud of himself. He wants to talk about it. Well, it's a matter of being proud, but <laughs> so so guys like we have a confession so to make. So so guys. So anyways. So, <laughs> our tour bus driver in Denali. Every other sentence. So, so anyways, anyways. I loved it. She was awesome though. She was awesome. She was awesome. We are not camping tonight. Or tomorrow. Or tomorrow. Or the next day. 
or Wednesday. <laughs> because I have work to deal with the proprietor of this fine establishment to stay here until Thursday when the next ferry for Valdez actually shows up. Because up until this week, it was an every other day event. And now there's a big gap for some reason. We really could use a shower and a nice warm room because we're not sick, but we've every now and then good the last few we've nights. not slept good. And you know what? We've not stayed in a real house room, roof over your head place in quite some time. So treat yourself. Treat yourself. <laughs> But there is Wi-Fi, therefore there will be video epicness going down in there. Hopefully it's good Wi-Fi. Hopefully it's good Wi-Fi. How do you have a TV? So you probably ought to have your video done by like Tuesday or Wednesday. Just exactly. In case you that long time. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, let's go relax a while. Peace. Peace out, dude. Looked outside and somebody's here. Live work wonder has made it to Whittier. Looking forward to maybe hanging out with these guys a little bit more. They have a cool story and an awesome rig. It's your friends. I see them. Hi, yeah. hey, Jorge. We scored an awesome deal on this hotel room and it was time for showers and laundry and some editing and some uploading and all that good stuff. So. I think this is the third or fourth time in this whole trip that we've been under a roof. And it's kind of nice. I've missed it. Today, though, is such a beautiful day out there. We're going to go outside and see Whittier. I don't know what we're going to get into. There's hikes, boats, rivers, salmon, and fun stuff. So let's just go and see what there is to see. I mean, this is too pretty a day to be sitting in here on the laptop. As much as you guys probably want to see a video, I don't want to miss this. So, here we go. So we'll come back and get it tomorrow. So we invited Jorge and Jessica to go on a little hike with us, but they're like, no, you guys go ahead. I'm just kidding. I know you guys are busy editing too. We just, we can't let this day go by. Check out their rig. So here's all the dirty laundry. Apparently the the laundromat wasn't wasn't really up to Sarah's standards. So we're gonna try and find another one. Hopefully there's I think there's a hotel in town that allows us to do laundry. So by the way, we're staying at the inn. Is it how do you say it? The inn at Whittier. This is the it's not the Whittier Inn, it's the inn at Whittier beautiful building incredible restaurant incredible service the owner Todd is amazing tell him Kevin from Lifestyle Overland sent you <laughs> so all right let's go see what we can find Whittier's ice-free harbor has been used for centuries by the Chugach people long before American and Russian explorers arrived in their quest for furs and gold during World War II, this small, almost unknown village was overtaken by the United States Army in a mad dash to fortify Alaska against the Japanese. By 1943, Whittier had its own fortified port, complete with railroad and tunnel, which allowed rapid movement within the Alaskan interior. Only a few years after the surrender of the Japanese and the end of World War II, Whittier was again called into service during the Cold War, and two massive buildings were built to house the influx of personnel, known as the Beakage Towers and Buckner Building. These were once the two largest buildings in the state of Alaska. Today, the Buckner Building is an abandoned concrete shell, while the Beakage Towers houses nearly all of the 218 residents in a series of apartments. During its time as a military establishment, Whittier was a secret city shrouded in mystery and snow, nearly cut off from all civilization in its mountain fortress. Today, signs of underground bunkers and secret passages can be found in the most random of places 
and leaves curious travelers like ourselves scratching our heads as we explore the hiking trails leading away from town. We wonder what stories these hillsides can tell and what lurks beneath today. What is that right there? I really don't know. Not sure. Looks pretty creepy though. Maybe there's a underground what? fortress or something. Where's fortress? Where's fortress? Come on. I don't know. What are you saying? But it must go down. Go down to where? I don't know. It's open. Okay, it's locked. Very lost esque. So Should we're... we do a parody? What kind of parody thing? See there, there's the black helicopters. I knew it. Where? We shouldn't be over here, guys. Oh, it's the black helicopters. They're, they're coming for us. <laughs> no, you can't. You just, you'll just die tired. Don't run. Is it pretty? It's like a, oh, what did I say? A winter rainforest. The ferns are just huge and insane. I mean, the sun was coming through the trees and like magical sunbeams. It was totally enchanting. It makes me be in love with Alaska. It's just epic. I mean, look at that. Just gorgeous. Such a great idea. Such a great way to end the day. And I'm like pumped and ready to attack another one. Otherwise, this was a easy to mild hike. If you take your time, it's totally doable. Um, they board a lot of it. That's new to me. But I think it makes it a little bit more 
accessible to those who would think a hike would not be something they would do. Uh, and the end was absolutely worth it. Go hiking! All right, so we thought we were going to an epic waterfall trail called Horsetail Falls. There's no sign on the trailheads. What we found instead was an incredible view of Whittier. And then we also had the opportunity to get some epic drone footage of the glacier. But what we didn't record and the chaos of it all was the fact that down, I Jeremiah. almost, almost lost the drone. I mean, battery critical, landing now, and I'm still going, where is it? Because let me tell you what, if you ever come to Alaska or you go really far north, magnetic north and true north have a lot of discrepancy. And so the algorithm for the Mavic Pro gets really confused and you'll be flying along everything's hunky-dory and then you'll whip around and it'll just throw it completely off it'll go haywire I mean it, it's really like some drunk guy flying a helicopter it is all over the place so you're constantly fighting it but a little adrenaline every now and then doesn't hurt it was really fun and I got some I think I got some epic footage I really hope I did so have you ever seen a trail like this? This is cool. There's a lot of effort to win in this. <laughs> you gotta slow it down. That's so cool. So beautiful. I I could live here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, I could live here. Man. So awesome. Jolly rancher. Me happy hiker. While our time in Whittier was mostly spent editing videos, doing laundry, and general rig reset, we were so glad we were able to get out and explore some of the surrounding mountainsides and have a taste of this unique landscape. Whittier is now a big tourist attraction with hundreds of thousands of visitors per year arriving by cruise ship to board the Alaskan Railroad for a very different purpose than for which it was originally built. While its strategic value has long since expired, this mysterious community still seems to have secrets yet to be discovered for the curious traveler. We hope to return one day to explore it even further. But tomorrow, we join Jessica and Jorge of Live, Work, Wonder and embark on a new leg of the adventure as we work our way further south along the Alaskan coast.